please welcome on stage Regional Head, South Asia, and Managing Director, Asus India, Mr. Leon Yu. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Namaste. Welcome to the launch event of Zenfone Max Pro. The launch of Zenfone Max Pro was announced by our global CEO, Mr. Jerry Shen, together with the Fleet Cup CEO, Mr. Kalyan Krishnamurti, during our partnership announcement event on April 17. Before we go on today's journey of In Search of Incredible, I would like to take this opportunity to talk a bit about ASUS. As a tech giant in Taiwan, we have 29 years of excellence in technology, design, innovations, and quality. Interbrand has chosen ASUS as the most valuable brand in Taiwan for five consecutive years since 2013. In terms of our business performance in a global perspective, we are among the top brands in motherboard, graphic cards, consumer laptops, and Wi-Fi routers. More than that, ASUS is really an environment-conscious company. The components we use in our products are all eco-friendly. More than that, we got the Energy Star certification to ensure all our products consume the least power and do the least harm to our environment because we really care our Earth and we want to take our social responsibility. ASUS come to India to set up the first local operation in 2005. Till date, we have 16 branches and 200 plus service centers covering 164 cities with invoice-free carrying policy. For remote areas, we also have pick up and drop services, which means we really want to provide a hassle-free service for all our customers. Thank you so much. That's all I want to share with you for ASUS. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a task today. Before I call upon our global CEO, Mr. Jerry Shen, to unveil the unbeatable performer of Zenfone Max Pro, I have to show video on the legacy of Zenfones. We dare. We dream. We believe. In search of incredible is a never-ending quest. The best technology is the one utilized by everyone. And only smartphone to have four gigabyte of RAM. It is the dream machine for everyone who loves photography. Backed by monstrous, empowering luxury. Designed for everyone to enjoy. World's first Tango enabled and daydream ready smartphone. The ultimate dedication to our love for photos. Please welcome on stage, CEO ASUS, Mr. Jerry Shan. Dear old friends, Namaste. Thank you. Welcome to our exciting event. And thank you for joining us tonight, today. We initiated our Genphone project with a mission to create 
an empowering luxury for everyone to enjoy. It has been a riveting story with half a decade of global success, customer happiness, and amazing innovation. We aspire to deliver the incredible in everything we do. We have done so with beautiful design, excellent photography, and unrivaled performance. For every Gen Fong design, we start with people desirability. We identify the leading trends in consumer behaviors and preferences in order to create an ultimate experience in the smartphone industry. Indian has been a key market for ASUS, an important tool, the foundations of our global operations. Today, we are honored to come here with a big surprise to globally launch first here in India. Ladies and gentlemen, meet our Gen Home Max Pro. Thank you. Thank you. Tanya Ba. Thank you. Our new Genphone Max Pro offers unique experiences that come with unbeatable performance, super long lasting battery, and the highest audio quality with two times louder. And today, with our special important partner, Flickart, we offer this incredible smartphone experience for Indian consumers to enjoy. Now, let me invite Dinesh on, the st on stage to introduce the details of our new Gen Home Max Pro. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Shen. Thank you very much, everybody, for being here. I am Dinesh Sharma. I head the mobile business for ASUS in India. It's my great pleasure and honor to introduce the truly unbeatable performer, Zenfone Max Pro. When we actually designed this product ground up, our mission was to create a smartphone that could beat the number one selling smartphones in India. And I'm very proud to present this phone to you because you would realize after this presentation how Zenfone Max Pro emerges as the truly unbeatable performer in its segment. So let us start with the first aspect about the product, which is the display. Zenfone Max Pro comes with 
5.99 inch full HD plus display. And it's in 18 is to 9 aspect ratio. The display again has class leading 1500 is to 1 contrast ratio. Other smartphones in this segment are with a 1000 is to 1 contrast ratio display. So with a 1500 is to 1 contrast ratio, you get really rich colors on the screen. Also, the color gamut is 85% NTSC, which is again segment leading. So you get really rich, vibrant colors on the display. Apart from that, the processor of this product enables two technologies to make the display performance even better. So you've got the True Palette technology and Ecopix technology, which enables spectacular color reproduction and also great contrast and also great sunlight visibility. So you've got a really, really good display on Zenfone Max Pro. Despite the fact the display is 5.99 inch, it is actually an 18 is to 9 compact, I mean the resolution is 18 is to 9 aspect ratio, and the screen to body ratio is very high. Because of which, in spite of the large display, you can actually hold the phone very easily. It just fits into a 5.5 inch body. Let's move to the next most important aspect of the products today, which is the battery. Battery is one of the most supercritical elements of our smartphones, especially for all of us who are power users. We don't want to run out of a battery. Zenfone Max Pro packs in a class-leading 5,000 mAh battery, which has some astounding battery times. So you've got 199 hours of music playback, 25.3 hours of video playback at full HD resolution. 28 hours of Wi-Fi browsing, and up to 42 hours of 3G talk time. You would wonder that the 5,000 mAh battery would actually take longer to charge. But no. The 5,000 mAh battery used on Zenfone Max Pro with the charger that we are providing with the box, a 10 watt 2 amp charger actually charges 30 minutes faster than comparative phones like Redmi Note 5 Pro, which have a 4,000 mAh battery. So you've got a larger battery, but a faster charging time on the Zenfone Max Pro. Even when we compare to performances in real life scenario, our batteries are really tested when we are actually streaming video content. And if you look at the performance of Zenfone Max Pro on these parameters, you would see we easily last out Redmi Note 5, which comes with a 625 processor, by at least two hours. So even in terms of efficiency, the, pro the product is extremely good. Despite having the 5,000 mAh battery, the phone is lightweight and weighs only 180 grams. The Redmi Note 5 Pro, for example, with a 4,000 mAh battery actually weighs 180 grams, or 181 grams, actually. So you've got a lighter weight phone with a much bigger battery because we've got a really dense, nice 5,000 mAh battery for you. Apart from that, the product looks extremely premium because in the front of the phone, you've got a 2.5D glass which curves at the edges, and at the back, you've got a beautifully curved metal body. So the phone looks extremely premium and is super smooth to hold in your hand. Let's move now to the next aspect, which is the camera. Again, in camera aspect as well, the Zenfone Max Pro provides you a class-leading camera. At the rear, you've got a 13-megapixel camera and a secondary 5-megapixel depth-sensing camera. So you've got a dual camera setup at the rear. And the best part is, in terms of design, the camera is flush with the body. So it looks far more elegant, and the phone is easier to hold. Since we Indians, love selfies, we've got an 8 megapixel high quality selfie camera. And the other important aspect is, for low light photography, both in the front as well as the rear of the phone, we've got a soft light LED flash. So you can take both rear pictures as well as front pictures in dark as well with great ease. The phone also comes with an incredibly fast focus, autofocus technology powered by PDAF. The other important aspect is that 
in low light conditions to enable high quality pictures, we've actually built in a sensor in this, which is with 1.12 microns. These, this allows 25% more light to be captured by the sensor. And therefore, you get good pictures even in low light conditions. The proof of the camera is actually in the pictures. And I am happy to actually invite on stage our global product manager, uh, Andrew, to come up and actually talk a little bit more about the camera and also take you through some astounding pictures on the same. Thanks. Over to Andrew. Good afternoon. I'm Andrew, and I love shooting photos. This is the world's first Zenfone Max Pro that was brought on a street photography shoot. And I am the world's first person to take photographs on that street photography shoot. And I feel very lucky. And I would love to share with you the results I got. Over the last two weeks, I've spent uh, time shooting in the streets of Mumbai, as well as Old Delhi. I won't, uh, and I like to say that this Zenfone Max Pro has the best camera in its class. I won't just say this, I will prove it now by showing you photos of old Mumbai and Delhi, old Delhi, that I shot with it. And these are scenes and places that are familiar to you. So you can compare the photos with your memories in your mind. But bear in mind, these photos are not edited. What you see on the display is what was taken directly from the phone. No editing. After this, I hope you will be impressed. But more than that, I hope that the Zenfone Max Pro's photos will inspire you to re-explore these areas on your own. First, let's start with color reproduction. I travel a lot, but Old Delhi has some of the world's most colorful clothes shops that I've ever come across. Like this one. And as you can see, the colors are reproduced very accurately, very vibrantly. And it is not just at that scene. The Zenfone Max Pro is able to accurately and vibrantly recreate colors regardless of whether it is day or night whether in indoors or outdoors, or under any lighting conditions. These photos look nice and natural to you. But did you know that for the grocery shop on my right, it was actually bathed in very cold fluorescent light. And for the vegetable shop on my left, it was actually bathed in very warm, very yellowish incandescent light bulb light. Yet, the Zenfone Max Pro is able to recreate these colors very richly and vibrantly and naturally. Next, I'd like to show you the dynamic range of the Zenfone Max Pro. The cool evenings are the best time to visit Indian monuments. Uh, that's when the sunlight is most dramatic. But that sunlight can be a little strong at times and cause, causes shadows or uh, harsh highlights. Take for example, this is Humayun's tomb. As you know, the entrance of Humayun's tomb faces the west. So when uh, dusk comes, the sunlight hits the entrance, the gate, with a very dramatic effect. It lights the red sandstone of the entrance with a dramatic glow. But you also know the left and right have very large trees that cast extremely harsh shadows. But with an, even without HDR mode engaged, the Zenfone Max Pro is able to pull detail from the darkest as well as the brightest areas. Old Delhi also has a lot of intricate architecture and interesting people. Uh, as you can see in this example of the Jama Mosque. But guess what? This is only half the whole photo. 
This is the top part of the photo. Yet the Zenfone Max high resolution is able to produce a scene with superb detail, as you can see. People who love me, <laughs> people who know me, know I love motorcycles. And uh, this is a brand I, I discovered here, Royal Enfield. This is a Royal Enfield Electra Twin Spark 350. I didn't know when I shot this photo. I only knew when I zoomed in. The Zenfone Max Pro's high resolution is able to capture the beautiful badges, chrome parts, and the engine detail. As you can see, it is a Twin Spark 350cc motorcycle. For the night mode, I was thinking what I should use and I decided on this photo. It is not a conventional way to use night mode, but I'm demonstrating that the night mode can be a fun way to experiment with creative photography, uh, like this shot of the Mumbai rickshaw, which I captured by moving along with it using the night mode. The Zenfone Max Pro's camera set an, automa uh, an automatic night mode shutter speed of 1 over 15 seconds, which is perfect for capturing moving vehicles like this. Finally, I would like to uh, feature the bokeh mode that we were going to talk about uh, earlier. Uh, naturally, yeah. the bokeh mode can be used on subjects to emphasize what you want the viewer to see, like this row of dresses. Photographers have the option to creatively use the smoke mode to draw attention to any subject they tap on to focus. And of course, bokeh mode is best for human portraits. The Zenfone Max Pro is able to accurately blur the background because it uses the second camera to detect the depth and accurately judge the distance between the subject and the background. Finally, the bokeh mode can also work in low light and on small objects, like this smartphone shot of a smartphone shot of the India Gateway in Mumbai. A few things I would like you to notice. Number one, this shot was you know, almost complete darkness. It was handheld. Number two, this is shot with the bokeh mode as well. So you can see the depth of field. Before I go, I'd like to share with you this uh, link where you can see the actual photos that was shot with the Zenfone Max Pro, as well as many others over the last two weeks uh, I've been here. I'd like to say again, I have not done any edits to them. You can study the EXIF information of the photos and it shows the location, the time and uh, yep, the lo location and time where I shot them. So you can even go to the same places and try to explore the same scenes. Okay, I hope I have proven to you why we say the Zenfone Max Pro has the best camera in its class. But above that, I hope it inspires you to shoot more and uh, I hand this time back to Dinesh. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Andrew, for actually demonstrating the capabilities of Zenfone Max Pro's camera. The dual rear camera at the back, which enables excellent bokeh photography, and the kind of functionality which the low light capabilities of the phone actually enables. The heart of the product is always the processor. We've got excellent relationship and long-term strategic partnership with one of the most important ecosystem partners in the mobile industry. That is right, Qualcomm. Qualcomm has been enabling Zenfone smartphones with some of the most latest in processor technology. And I'm very glad to confirm that Zenfone Max Pro comes with the latest Snapdragon 636 processor. And to talk more about it, I invite upon to stage 
the Qualcomm India President, Mr. Larry Paulson. Wow, thank you, thank you. Really good job by everyone. It's just amazing if you uh, stop for a minute and pause and think about the activity that goes into producing a product like this. The, the whole range of a product like this, it's, it's, it's quite astounding actually and you should probably pause and think about that a little bit. But let me um, just talk about, start by saying thank you. Thank you to Mr. Jerry Shen and to the entire ASUS team and the other partners that will be up here speaking today. And thank you for the opportunity. I'm, I'm both personally grateful and on behalf of Qualcomm, always grateful for what you do. You see, we have, for, for what you do. You see, we have, as, as Dinesh said, a, a, a extremely strong relationship between Qualcomm and ASUS. And that relationship is driven through one single common denominator. And that common denominator is basically the drive for innovation, but not innovation for innovation's sake, innovation that makes the consumer's life better. And, and that basically is what we are after and what we are doing and what we're going to talk about here in, in the two or three minutes that I'm going to talk to you a little bit about performance. Now let me step back for one quick second. And uh, this is a global launch. This is about product around the world, but we are sitting here in India. And so let's, let's just say a few words about India and the relationship with this product in India. India can be defined and described in so many ways. But one way that always comes back to center is quantitative, is numbers. Our numbers here are big. Our scale is large. And, and India, with its, with its population and its economy and all that goes with it, is a number that is, or a nation that is defined by numbers. So over the last four or five years, hundreds of millions of Indians and billions of people around the world have embraced smartphone and smartphones. And what have they discovered in that smartphone journey? There actually are common threads of that discovery. There's different time lapses of that discovery. But what they have discovered is that price is what you pay, value is what you get. And so the pursuit of what you get along that journey just gets more and more demanding because the smartphone has become the world's lifeline. The things that we do with it, the time between when we wake up and we first look at it, the time before we go, when we go to sleep and put it down is seconds in many people's life. And so that pursuit of that journey of value became, it is, and remains extremely strong, driving the need for innovation and change. And so how do we describe value, right? And how do we describe this? Well, frankly, it's everything across here. It's, a, it's not a single item, it's a combination of all of this. But what I'm gonna to talk to you about is the performance side. What is Qualcomm's role in all of this? Our role is, for simple analogy purposes, building this engine that enables, enables what is going to happen here, going to happen here. And I like the idea that using a car for the analogy. So let me explain what we've done here with uh, the Snapdragon 636. It's a, series of, it's a series of processors in our 600 family to bring everybody into, you know, into, in, into perspective. We have a Snapdragon 200, 400, 600, 800 family, or maybe I should reverse that, 800, 600, 400, 200, and the reason that we have that segmented family is we do our, our innovation in our 800, 600 family and then drive that down over time, and that's exactly what has happened here. Our 14 nanometer technology is now sitting in this 636. 14 nanometer by being that small means it's extremely power efficient. We introduced Cryo 260. I'll talk about that in a minute, as well as an octa-core or eight-core CPU. But the cryo is coming down from our 800 series into our 600 series and the 636 um, utilizing of that and then the Adreno GPU, the graphics processor. A lot of what you're seeing happen here is driven through that graphic processor 
And so by upgrading from the 506 to the 509 and everything that goes with that on the graphic processor, featuring all of that together. Now let me just say a few words about, about the, uh, um, the Cryo 260. Okay, think about this in terms of that red car that was here um, not that long ago. Inside an octa-core, inside these eight cores, what you typically hear talked about is whether it's a V4, a V6, a V8, 200 horsepower, 300 horsepower, 350 horsepower. So you often hear stats around performance. You never really hear about the gearing or the transmission ratios or what's going on to make that performance optimized. What we have done with this cluster optimization is focus on actually the efficiency side of the, of the Cryo 260. Put energy into efficiency to make the performance more powerful by driving commands in, in, a, in a unique and innovative way by leveling out what we've done, leveling out with the 1.8 gig and the 1.6 gig up here. And the net net is that you have an extremely powerful enabler that has allowed the Zenfone Max Pro to, to, to institute as a leading device in this industry. And my hat's off to the ASUS team because we can produce technology, but it's very rare to find a partner that actually embraces and pushes us for the enablement of that technology. And so I think um, in, in, in this particular case with the, with the Max Zen Pro, Truly, Mr. Jerry Shen, you have a winner on your hands, and thank you. Thank you very much, Larry. And now to talk more about the processor, I think it's important to pit it against others. So let us see how the processor actually performs in Zenfone Max Pro. So here, we've actually done a comparison again with the leading smartphones in the segment, Note 5 Pro, Redmi Note 5 Pro, which has the same 636, and Redmi Note 5, which has the 625. What you would see amazing is that even though Redmi Note 5 Pro has the same 636, but Zenfone Max Pro is marginally faster by 3%. But compared to the Redmi Note 5, the Zenfone Max Pro is 54% faster. So what you get is amazing processing performance in the Zenfone Max Pro. I am very, very happy to announce that today, for the first time, we are launching a Zenfone with pure stock Android experience. And this is based on the consumer feedback from India. We've actually built the Zenfone Max Pro to deliver the best that the Indian consumers want. And I also want to confirm to all a very big intention from ASUS. We have a very strong intention to ensure that if Google keeps its schedules of upgrades, we would actually upgrade the Zenfone Max Pro up to the two level further OSs, which means Android P and hopefully Android Q is what Google should call the next OS. So we would be having a very strong intention to upgrade the Zenfone Max Pro up to Android Q. So that's something that we would like to confirm to everybody out here so that our consumers are assured that they will have the latest operating systems when they are launched on the Zenfone Max Pro. We also benchmarked how, the, how is Zenfone Max Pro actually performing in terms of UX. Speed of application launches plus speed of boot up time. And you'll be amazed to see these numbers that compared to the Redmi Note 5 Pro and the Redmi Note 5, the boot up time is seven to eight seconds faster on the Zenfone Max Pro. So that's the kind of snappy performance that they pack in into the Zenfone Max Pro. Let's come to the next important aspect about the product, which is the audio. Audio is super critical in high performance segment, especially because the way we are consuming content is also differing. We watch our videos live streamed on our phones today. We listen to audio streamed to our phone today. Data is universally and widely available in India. 
And therefore, the way we consume our audio is also changing, and therefore, it's super important that we give a super audio package with the unbeatable performer. I'm very happy to confirm that we've actually bought in our flagship audio components into the Zenfone Max Pro. So Zenfone Max Pro will come with the five magnet speaker and an NXP smart amplifier. What are the benefits? Typical smartphones use a three magnet speaker, but the five magnet speaker gives you louder sound, much better bass, and much lower distortion. So the sound quality on a five magnet speaker is really, really good. To complement the speaker, we've also got a high quality NXP smart amp. If some of you know, NXP is one of the best companies in audio components for mobile. The NXP smart amplifier ensures high quality amplification, and it also regulates the current very well, which ensures that your speaker's quality actually is not impacted by overcurrent or over voltage, and it lasts throughout the lifetime of your phone so that you get an amazing music experience always. Friends, that's not it. We've also got another innovation coming up with this product, which is simple but beautiful and amazing. To ensure that we can easily share our music with our friends or enjoy high volume music anytime when we want, our CEO has led an engineering effort, which is a marvel of its kind, tailored around human engineering. So we've got a passive amplifier called Maxbox with this phone, which will actually amplify the audio volume from the speaker by two times. Can I actually show the Maxbox out here? Thank you. So you see, this is the Maxbox. It's a very simple accessory. It actually folds up. And you can actually place your phone inside this. It stands the phone vertically beautifully, and it actually amplifies the sound two times. To experience the Maxbox, I would invite all of you who are present here to actually go to the Max Audio Zone and experience the power of this Maxbox. And I'm super happy to confirm that we will be giving this accessory free of cost inside the box for Zenfone Max Pro so that all our consumers can really enjoy and also share the music. The other important aspect for India now is the fact that we all, or most of us, actually use dual SIMs today. And what you need also is expandable storage along with that. So with the Zenfone Max Pro, we are actually giving you a tray which has three slots, so that you can accommodate two SIMs and also expand your storage for more photos, more music, and more videos. And the best part is that the storage is also expandable, up to two terabytes. Compared to that, the Redmi Note 5 and Note 5 Pro actually have a hybrid slot. So you can either use two SIMs or one SIM plus one micro SD card. So this is an amazing convenience benefit that Zenfone Max Pro would provide to you because it's been ground up, built for India. Coming to security, the product will support both fingerprint unlock as well as face unlock. The product will come in two exciting variants, 3 GB RAM, 32 GB RAM, 32 GB memory, sorry, and 4 GB RAM and 64 GB storage. Apart from this, it will be available in two exciting colors, midnight black and gray. We are getting some amazing support from amazing partners. We've already announced our partnership with Flipkart. We've got Qualcomm supporting us with the processor. And for amazing benefits to use this phone, we've got another consumer-centric big brand from India, Vodafone, coming in and providing a never-before offer for Vodafone consumers who buy the Zenfone Max Pro. Also, the f offer is not just like one size fit all, but it's a very intelligent offer aimed at different segments of customers. So let us see what Vodafone offers. First of all, the offered value from Vodafone would add up up to rupees 3,200 
when you buy the Zenfone Max Pro and use it on the Vodafone network. For prepaid customers, those who are on 199 plan and above will get 10 GB per month additional data free of cost for one full year. And the youth customers in prepaid also get telco and non-telco discounts on a weekly basis. For the postpaid customers who are on red 399 plan and above, they will also get 10 GB additional data for one full year. But those who are on 499 plan and above get an amazing new offer from Vodafone, which is two years red protect insurance plan and mobile security plan free of cost if you remain on the red 499 plan and use the Zenfone Max Pro. So these are my friends, unprecedented offers from Vodafone for their consumers who will actually buy Zenfone Max Pro. I now call upon our most special partner and one of the legends and great persons in the mobile industry, Ajay Viryadav, Vice President from Flipkart, to come and talk about the partnership and tell you what Flipkart has in store for Zenfone Max Pro. Over to Ajay. Hello. Thank you. Uh, legend. You know, that's a word. I think I'm really getting old now. Uh, you know, this is the first time in my life anyone has ever used that word for me. Legend is, uh, you know, Dilip Kumar, Amitabh Bachchan. Neither in achievement, neither in age. I, I don't think I come anywhere close to it. But thank you, Dinesh. Those are really kind words. Uh, uh, great. Uh, I think many of you were uh, there at the conference when we met on uh, 17th of April. ASUS uh, Flipkart announced our strategic partnership. We kind of gave a brief overview as to what we are planning to do over the next uh, three years. 2020, and uh, you know, just taking a cue from uh, what Jerry has said, uh, what Larry said, uh, too, many, too many good things happening here. Okay, the phone is out of the world. On every single parameter, it just seems to beat everything. Uh, at least the expectations out of the park. Uh, Larry talked about the performance. So, what is Flipkart's uh, role in this? Uh, Flipkart, think of us as the customer-facing engine. You know, since it's a technology led conference, you know, a conversation, I'll use the word engine. Uh, we talk to millions and millions of uh, customers. There are more than 130, 140 million customers who are registered on Flipkart. They come onto site every day. They browse our phones. They buy our phones. They send us feedback. They give us ratings. And that, honestly, is a relationship that we uh, treasure. When we spoke to, uh, you know, when we met on 17th, we said, the strategic partnership, what we're bringing to the table is this whole customer insight. Uh, I'm very happy, you know, now that these details are on the table, uh, Flipkart uh, has been uh, instrumental in providing a lot of these insights. What should the camera be? What should be the weight be? How should, uh, you know, uh, the positioning happen? Audio. If you actually think back, this actually is the first phone launch, at least that I'm aware of in the last one, one and a half years, which has talked about audio. Otherwise, audio seems to be one subtext that runs onto the side you know, put on, uh, I don't want to name the technology, but let's say there'll just be a small sticker, we'll say, oh, this phone comes with this audio technology, and that's the end of it. Uh, that's the role that uh, Flipkart will play. Uh, coming back uh, to, again, 17th, I had promised you that over the next six months, between ASUS and Flipkart, you'll be hearing a lot of news. Uh, there'll be enough and more path-breaking work that we'll be doing. Uh, I'm here to announce uh, one more path-breaking work, uh, the common DNA between ASUS and uh, Flipkart remains innovation. To borrow Larry's word, uh, relevant innovation. It has to make difference to the customer. To that extent, uh, how do we challenge the status quo? What has never been done before? What has never been thought of before? Can we actually make that happen? Uh, will it delight the customer? Uh, with that context, let me just run you through four or five slides. Uh, this is Flipkart. We're just about 10 years old. When you think of it, a lot of times I get uh, questions on, you know, why is Flipkart a leader in almost every category that we operate in? In mobile phones, when I met you uh, last, I said, last year, approximately 25%. That's one in every smartphone sold in India was sold on Flipkart. Now, why did that happen? 
One simple reason, I think uh, we've been over enthusiastic in calling it the secret sauce. There's nothing secret about it. It's the customer centricity, it's the innovation. So th that's just a list of what we've uh, done. Cash on delivery. You know, today in India, ecosystem, everybody kind of takes it for granted. Oh, cash on delivery. But just think of it. Nowhere in the world cash on delivery had ever been launched when Flipkart thought of it. Every single e-commerce player across the world was only delivering product and you had to pay digitally. That was a very India-centric uh, innovation. Uh, we can talk about the complexities of uh, that, you know, post the conversation. E-cart, I still remember when Flipkart was starting out, we are not a logistic company. We actually went to logistic players and we said, you know what, uh, this is what we are thinking of, uh, you know, in terms of customer experience, when the customer buys a product, this is how fast we want our product to reach the customer. If the customer has an issue, this is how fast we want the product to come back. Uh, experience cannot be compromised. Uh, many of those conversations for a young company like Flipkart, let's say, were not very encouraging. But again, uh, customer experience cannot be compromised on. So eCart was born. eCart is India's logistic, largest logistic company. Not e-commerce logistic company, not small product logistic company. It is by far India's largest logistic company. Uh, so that 9,000 pin codes, just to put that in context, uh, that you see there, that's 85% of India's smartphone demand. We cover it within one day or two day. If you have a problem with your phone, we pull back the phone within one day or two day and you're issued a new phone. And I can continue uh, talking about it. I think we've spoken about buyback guarantee, we've spoken about product exchange. Uh, fundamentally, all these customer innovations, uh, where they placed us is, uh, we are one fourth of the smartphone market, extremely proud of it. Uh, thank you, thank you for, uh, you know, to our customers for supporting us, uh, supporting our innovations. Uh, last time when I met you, I also said, okay, 25%, great, great story, but where do we go from here? And uh, that is, uh, you know, where we align with ASUS, Jerry's vision of actually, you know, eroding uh, the digital divide in India. And we said Flipkart wants to be 40% of the total smartphone market, uh, adding you know, loosely translated, this would mean adding 100 million customers to the base of 320 to 330 million smartphone users in the country today in a span of three years, when the industry is typically growing at about 10 to 11 percent. Okay, if you want to be a little liberal about it, you can say 14 percent, but that's, that's the vision that we took on. Now, uh, last time when we said, we said, of course, you know, creating phones which are extremely relevant, uh, creating phones that come with features which, uh, you know, meet customer expectations, uh, we'll work with ASUS on that one. But what else does we take? Now, here are two pain points that, uh, uh, you know, we've been talking to customers. There are a lot of feature phone buyers that we speak to, and we say, why don't you buy a smartphone? You know, we're actually enabling EMI, even if you don't have a credit card. We're actually taking your old phone back and giving you value uh, for that phone, but why aren't you transitioning to uh, uh, the smartphone? There are two pain points that this customer tells us. He says, one, battery. A feature phone battery just goes on and on in a country which has paucity of electricity. Uh, that is a very strong use case. I charge it once and, you know, it never goes off, at least for a month. Uh, the second one was, uh, what if something happens to my smartphone? You know what? It's an expensive purchase. When you buy the smartphone for the first time, you're moving from a feature phone. I'm sure you'll empathize. Uh, it is an expensive uh, purchase. So while Asus and Larry, uh, Qualcomm, work on providing power, bigger battery, thinner, uh, uh, let's say, hand feel, more efficiency, we said, can Flipkart actually take on the second part of the challenge and de-risk this customer's purchase? Okay. When we started speaking to customers again, and we say, okay, help us understand when you say, if you were to buy a smartphone, uh, what's the problem that you face? But whenever you buy a smartphone, if you have a problem, the brand will take care of it. You can go to a service center. Uh, and that's when a lot of these conversations uh, emerged. This is customer speak. Uh, limited warranty. Terms and conditions. You must have used the wrong charger. The wire must be a third party wire. Oh, when you bought the phone, did you not see that in paragraph 16th, addendum 18th, point number uh, 44, written in uh, point size 5, did you not read this, that this is not covered? Okay. Uh, don't you know that when you walk into a service center, you first have to pay 200 rupees to even be 
accepted, you know, just to see uh, the phone? Don't you know that the, you know, coverage is limited? How do you prove that this is a manufacturing defect versus, you know, your phone has a small dent onto the side and this defect must have happened because of this and hence you're liable to pay. Just the cynicism uh, was extremely high and uh, it just connected back to a feature phone customer. The customer is saying, I want to move on to a smartphone, I only have two problems. I know it's affordable, I know phones are good. The first problem is battery. That's for Asus, Qualcomm, Jerry, Larry, nice rhyming names to solve for. Uh, what is there to solve for us is the second part, which is what if anything was to happen to my phone, what do I do? And that's when we kind of created the first structure. We said, what if there was something that said, no limitations, no warranty. We don't know what warranty means. Okay. No half cover. You know, it's, it's like, you know, either you love or you don't love. There is no half love. You know, either you protect or you don't protect. You don't say, I'll protect half a person. The rest half can go and take a walk. Okay. Uh, again, we went back to customers and we said, can you actually help us define this program for us? So what I'm going to be talking about from our point of view is the single biggest ecosystem shift that we are making in the last one year. Uh, we did it with logistics, we did it with affordability. This is the third big and one of the two new innovations that you will see that we'll work with the ASUS on. We are saying we will fundamentally redefine how customer values service after he has or she has purchased uh, the phone. Flipkart announces, I like that line. Actually, I'm a Yadav from Haryana, Army background, so the line I had written was uh, Flipkart announces the death of limited warranty, but my team said this line works better. Okay, it, it, this is more softer and uh, will work better with uh, press. Everybody may not like death and whatever. So Flipkart announces goodbye limited warranty. Okay, every time you buy a phone, now there's no need to look at the phone and say, you know, what are the inclusions and exclusions? Every single thing that you can think of. Okay. Let me tell you what is not included though, okay? right up front. Make sure your phone is not stolen. Okay. That, that I can't protect. Okay. But everything else that can possibly go wrong with your phone, everything else that can possibly go wrong with your phone is covered. No more limitations, no more terms and conditions, no more fine print, no addendums, no questions asked. The complete mo mobile protection this is what you get, and the hero product that we're talking about today will be the first phone to launch with this. Let me give you a little more uh, details on this one. But that's complete mobile protection, no fine prints, no terms and conditions, no I told you so. What does it cover? Broken screen? See, you carry a mobile in your hand. Uh, you get into trains, buses, metros, uh, you're walking, the phone is in your pocket, the phone can drop. Broken screen, covered. Uh, I was talking to a customer and the customer actually gave me a very nice anecdote. Uh, he had bought a new phone for his wife and after about three or four days, the phone stopped working. So they had a little daughter. So they said, you know, they were generally talking, why is the phone not working? And this daughter very innocently said, you know what, mama's phone was becoming dirty, so I went to the wash basin and I washed it. Okay, so covered. If you drop your phone in liquid, either after a few drinks or if your daughter is extra cautious about uh, keeping things very safe and secure and clean and drops the phone in water, again covered. There are just no exclusions. So while I can go through the entire thing, uh, you know, one by one, let me just say, you have a problem with your phone, you only call one number. You don't come out of your house. I come to your place. I pick up the phone. I give you the replacement. I repair it free of cost. I get that phone back to you, I set it up for you, apart from getting your phone stolen, because then I have nothing to repair, right? Okay. Apart from getting your phone stolen, everything else that you can think of is covered in the convenience of your home. That's uh, uh, the complete care protection plan from Flipkart that we're talking of. Okay. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Very heartwarming. Again, a long list, you know, I'm a marketer at heart, so, you know, any column that shows a lot of greens and a lot of reds, uh, you know, finds my fancy. But uh, just run through it. Hardware or software issues, we don't differentiate. Okay, it's all covered. Broken screen, covered. Liquid damage, covered. At your home, just call up one number. We'll come and pick it up. 
one helpline, you know, no more 10 numbers to, nobody's going to tell you, oh, you are in Bombay, then you call this number, you are in Delhi, call this number, Coimbatore, call this number, one national number that will promote. Guaranteed repair or replacement, see, I don't use the word warranty. Guarantee. Okay. Uh, guaranteed resolution within 10 days, if I'm not able to resolve the complaint within 10 days, I give you a replacement phone. No questions asked. I don't tell you, you know what, we're not finding this part for the next 15 days, one month, we're very sorry, but you must understand, you know the parts come from China, all the parts come from Taiwan, none of that. My responsibility to make sure you get your phone up and running in about 10 days time. Store visit, yes, we will have some store partners, you want to visit those stores, by all means welcome, but we are more than happy to come to your house and uh, service it for you. Good price. Bad price. 9.99, just to put this in context, what's the peace of mind worth? 375 days in a year, right? So just for simplicity's sake, let's make it 333. Okay, the balance days are bonus days. So if the year only had 333 days, I'm basically asking for three rupees a day. Okay. And saying, you know what, drop your phone, use it. Uh, the way you want to use it, if you ever have a problem, I'll cover it. But, uh, you know, just to make this a little more special, uh, for our customers, for the product launch, and most critically for Asus. Uh, here's the introductory launch offer. Oh, 49 rupees. How much do we guys pay for a cup of coffee? Okay. I'm actually asking you to pay just for a cutting chai, okay? Forget a cappuccino. Just, just 49 rupees and enjoy the product. This product comes specially, specially, specially for Asus for this first launch. This product will not be available on any other product uh, for right now. Okay. Once again, thank you. Thanks for the uh, response. This is very, very heart uh, Looking at you, I thought all of you are really rich and you won't mind spending money. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to invite Dinesh again uh, on the stage. Once again, thank you. Thank you, Ajay, for another legendary address today to this particular uh, you know, crowd which is here and also everybody who's watching it live stream. It was really legendary, I would say it again. So friends, that's not all. Zen fans are very important to us and they've been a very important part of the Asus family in India. They've been supporting us a lot and we believe that Zen fans will be very excited and enthused to buy the Max Pro first. Therefore, on the launch day, when the sale starts, there is a very, very, very special offer that we are actually putting up on the Zenfone Max Pro. Ajay has already taken you through the complete mobile protection plan. Apart from that, on the launch day, you would have no-cost EMI on credit cards and Bajaj FinServe cards available to the customers up to 12 months. So you can actually buy the phone at an equated monthly installments, which you have to pay over 12 months at no interest cost, no processing fee. You've, I've already taken you through the Vodafone offers. And apart from that, on select models, you would also get 1,000 rupees extra exchange offer. So whatever is the regular exchange value of your trade-in phone, you would get 1,000 rupees extra on the launch day. So these are some amazing offers that we are actually bringing it to you worth thousands of rupees, okay, on the launch day of Zenfone Max Pro. I'm sure there are a lot of questions coming in of finally what's the price. But before we go to the price, let's do one thing. Let's quickly recap what the product is all about.
friends, now the most exciting part of today's event has come, come up, which is to announce the price of Zenfone Max Pro for India. So the first version of Zenfone Max Pro comes with the 3 GB RAM and 32 GB storage with expandable memory. And friends, I'm very, very happy to announce the price of Zenfone Max Pro will start at And for the 4GB, 64GB variant, the price will be rupees 12,999. I'm sure a lot of my friends out here were always anticipating about this and I always promise them that we'll beat your expectation. So we are giving you a very amazing, incredible price for the Zenfone Max Pro. But that's not all. We also have a very special announcement to make, a surprise for all of you. We will be launching soon a 6GB, 64GB variant of Zenfone Max Pro. Plus, we will also upgrade the cameras. The rear main camera will be upgraded to 16 megapixels. And the front camera would be upgraded to 16 megapixels. So you've got a really good balanced camera at the rear and the front. This model will come soon. And the price of this model will be rupees 14,999. So friends, now you know why the Zenfone Max Pro is truly the unbeatable performer with unbeatable specs and a really, really incredible price which gives you unbeatable value when you actually buy the Zenfone Max Pro. Zenfone Max Pro sale would start on 3rd of May 2018 exclusively on Flipkart.com. Thank you very much for your time and attending this event. I'm sure you're all delighted and would go and buy and give a great response to Zenfone Max Pro and hopefully make it the number one selling smartphone in India. Thank you. To unveil the Zenfone Max Pro, we would like to call on stage Mr. Jerry Shen, CEO, Asus. Mr. Jerry Zhao, COO, Asus. Mr. Leon Yu, Regional Head India and South Asia. Mr. Larry Paulson, VP and President, Qualcomm. And Mr. Ajay Veer Yadav, Vice President, Mobile and Large Appliances, Flipkart, to join us on stage for a photo op. Thank you everyone for joining us on this incredible day. The Demo Zone is now open for you to experience the Zenfone Max Pro.
Thank you, gentlemen. Lunch is now served. Please enjoy yourselves. And on behalf of ASUS India, we thank you all for being with us here today.